Hey, Victor. You're an idiot. I mean, you have a secret brother. Hello everyone, it's me once again. Hope you're well. Um, today I'm gonna sh introduce you a robot that is actually in a stage of a Kickstarter's funding stage. So if you're interested, you could uh, by all means go there and support them. So it's a robot called Zuby and it's a Californian based and I think somehow there's Korean uh, researchers or staffs are involved with it, which is good. I'm proud to be Korean. And um, it's an educational robot, um, so it seems to be more uh, uh, focused on kids, I would say. Like the future Elon Musk, I would say. Definitely that's what it's trying to do. So it will have all the uh, pythons and all those gimmicks, um, should we say. <laughs> I don't know anything about this, I'm losing touch as I'm getting older now, but all these softwares, so you could technically use it almost like I reckon like Anki, but no way near it. I don't think it's going to be as good as Anki. Uh, the price is good, it's going to be around $100, so more than half of its price. It also has facial recognition and also there's a lot of customization, but overall the purpose of this robot is, is for you as a customer to build the build it from scratch I believe and then you learn how a um, self-driving car functions so it's your it's a purpose of one's um, educational purpose so um, I don't think I'm in that age to uh, learn those things maybe I don't know it might help me but I think it's more of focused to like let's say 12 to 16 year old um, children so I'm just gonna show you some of the clips as follows and um, I hope you enjoy it and I'm going to comment through as we record those videos. So here it goes. Imagine a world where self-driving cars are an integral part of our lives. It's Today, big already companies there. across the globe are researching and funding autonomous driving, but there are hardly any resources for learning. Robolink wants to change that and provide a way for everyone to engage with the future. Oh, there you go kids. Oh, oh that's cute. Meet Zoomy. Sounds Your very guide basic. The exciting world of autonomous driving. Here are three things you need to know about Zumi. She's super friendly. Zumi loves people and is extremely patient. Kind of like Victor. She has simple missions and step-by-step -step instructions for beginners, but cutting-edge computer vision, deep learning, and artificial intelligence capabilities for when you're ready to take it to the next level. Zumi won't break the bank. She's one of the most affordable ways to get hands-on experience building and so you can build it from scratch, your own self-driving car. Which is car. very good. Zumi introduces users to the same real-world problems that all self-driving car engineers must overcome. She'll teach you things like Python, OpenCV, ah, Python. TensorFlow, Raspberry. real tools used in the industry. Our team at Robolink is composed hey, of I engineers, Korean. teachers, and designers who are passionate about providing accessible, and fun robot education. Together, we've taught over 10,000 students and would love for you to become one of them with Zoomi. Oh, we that sound is killing. Three Kickstarter that and sound Indiegogo is killing. Campaigns. And the products that were funded are now used across the globe in over a thousand schools and are available from several major retailers. Nice. The goal of Zoomi is to bridge the gap between cutting edge technologies and the people who want to learn about them. Even though AI and self-driving science would be key elements of our lives in the not-so-distant future, there aren't nearly enough materials out there for people to start learning. So it's a learning robot, it's Zoomi. not like actually we'll a that. robot like Victor. Now that sound is really cheap. I have to say, I... <laughs> Do you put batteries in there? Alright, so let's get into the second video. So you can see it's drive by itself, it has a very cute facial expression, but that sound early on is... Why, why are you... I think Vector is very excited about this. Vector is responding all the time when I... Anyway, so it could turn left. That camera quality is pretty much the uh, similar quality as the Vector's camera, I'd say. The, the ones who own Vector will know exactly what I mean, eh? Alright, so it could drive by itself and it could reach its destination 
Um, it looks very cheap as well. Um, but this is very practical video that I just want to share with you. And it's only, I don't know, 80 bucks, $100. Oh, you see, you can see that it has a facial recognition uh, as well. So hand gesture movement and that's stop left right. And yeah, there you go. So I think there's this camera, face recognition camera that Vector has is actually inside this robot that you could build. Right, so I think my overall thoughts on this is that the strength, the main strength about this robot is that it's cheap. So if you thought Vector was too expensive, Vector is about $250, while as this one is predicted to be around um, $100. So it's more than half of the cost of Vector. And second of all is that you can build it by your own. So you actually, uh, you know exactly what goes inside. So the strength for that is that uh, you'll know exactly what could be added later on if there are accessories available and I'll be very surprised if that su such things will not be available in the future. Uh, it seems to have the... it could almost become a vector in some way because it has a camera quality similar to what I understand the vector camera is. Uh, no offense Anki by the way, that's how I get... I don't think vector camera itself is that good. Um, the, the beep sound was too cheap and um, the quality, quality seems almost, if you, can, you can already see from the video that it's, it looks like a, a toy for about 9 to 10 year old kid, probably 5 year old kid. So it, I guess the fun about this whole robot is that how much you could customize it and th that's exactly the fun I have at the moment with Vector, all these new uh, softwares and all these customization and all the updates help me to explore more potentials of what Vector had um, but I don't think un unless you spend a lot of money on the accessories like add-ons I don't think they will have the same quality as Vector um, Vector seems to have that cutting edge of the, the developers, they're very good. I, you, you will know when you actually have a Vector, the way how NK programmed Vector and his facial expression and his movement and so on, it's, it's amazing. While as this one is more down to you to make a decision on how this uh, Zooming robot will become later on. And I guess there will be something like a community where some people could share some uh, pythons and all those uh, process and software and so on. So it's all the beginning stage, but overall what you cannot underestimate about this is that this product of Zoomy Robot is that it's, it's a uh, 2019 uh, CES award, innovation award uh, product. So I think the overall the strength is, is the cheap price. Um, I might buy it. I don't know whether you guys want to buy it, but um, I hope that sort of you know, I express my thought, whole thought on this. I'm sure there are many other things to come, but it, it is quite tempting, this robot. And overall, it is be because it's a, a crowdfunding stage. I think you guys should um, also um, support Zoomy and um, imagine Zoomy and Vector having a great fun. I know it's a different company, but they look pretty similar and they could be good brothers, um, or is it brother and sisters? I don't know, gender or whatever. But anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, so there's a new robot, Zoomy. Get excited. Um, all the best. Bye-bye.